Welcome back to another episode of Breaking Waves. Last time on Breaking Waves, Brent and I go surfing, and then we run aground, and then we find a warm water swimming hole and run into some friends. This week's episode, Greg and Emma come back. They've helped us fix a clogged intake. <laughs> <laughs> we go surfing again, and then we find a great, great anchorage. Then we drag our dinghy up a river to find some old growth before crushing it on a beautiful sail home. Sit tight and enjoy this episode. This is Beck, our Gene Vest loving, fearless captain. One day he convinced me to go along with him on the adventure of buying and moving on to a sailboat, Kiana. And since then, we've had no regrets. I'm Allie, by the way, first mate and fishing enthusiast. And together, we've been exploring the Pacific Northwest, and one day we hope to take her home and our surfboards even further. Oh, this is Bruce, our sandy boat dog. Thanks for coming along with us, and special thanks to our patrons for keeping us going. If you haven't already, hit subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell. Oh my god. Oh, I can't believe this is a thing right now. Look who's back. We're back. back. Alright, so you guys might remember Greg and Emma from last season in Desolation Sound. We all hung out. Teeker and Arm. Teeker and Arm. We went with these two and they came on their own powerboat and we partied and had a good time, went swimming and so. You may recognize me from the episodes with the knee brace on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the plan is to head up to an island just north of here and meet our friends Max and Morgan. They're going to come up on their own little fishing boat and uh, we're going to surf tomorrow morning is what we're thinking. And then we don't know what we're going to do after that. We're going to just go go explore and have fun. Dude, is this going to be the first actual surfing experience on this so-called surfing channel? Uh, no. We are having a bit of a difficult situation leaving the dock because there's a huge rock, I think over there, which is where the current is pushing us into. And if we back up, then we have a lot of prop walk that will swing us into another rock. So, dock. Oh. The current is rough here. And it's low tide, which means it works. If you have watched any of our last couple episodes, you've probably heard us talk about the currents that go through this little channel in front of Strawberry Island. The current can get up over four and a half knots, and is, since it's littered with rocks and shallow bits, I got barnacles in me back. <laughs> it's a pretty tricky area to navigate. Many boats have run aground. Fueled up, ready to go. We did it, we're off. We got fuel, we got snacks, we got drinks, we got surf gear, we got friends. Up. And we're going on a cool adventure. Adventure awaits us. I've heard it said that it's not a real adventure until something goes wrong. We need to anchor. And honestly, that's the most valid thing I've ever heard. We have a problem. Houston. The two water lines for the coolant, the raw water intake that go through the strainer, they, they look like they're collapsed, like there's a vacuum. So I think the strainer might be clogged. Probably from when we anchored over in Browning's Pass and all that oh, seaweed yeah, shit, it probably got sucked up and in. So. so that might, I don't know if that would contribute to the smoke we're seeing, but either way, we gotta fix that. So we need to get anchored. And Never a dull moment. I swear. <laughs> it's always when you guys are on the, the boat. The boat waits for you guys to come over. <laughs> so as you can see, this is the raw water intake strainer right here and both of these hoses are like flattened like they look it looks like there's some sort of vacuum we were getting water coming out of the exhaust though so yeah that's a little weird i guess but so this is in the strainer it doesn't look like it's enough to fully clog up the system which it wasn't but it might be enough to have been causing the issue with the hose collapsing Yeah. That's way better. That's a lot better. Yeah. 
Guys, we fixed it. Woo. Bruce decided last night that he wanted to eat an entire bag of Dublin's dog food. And he's not feeling very well today. What are you doing? <laughs> Trying to get rid of the poo poo. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta hook up the wash. Why don't I help Allie and you help Ben? Because I think he wants to stop again. Yeah. Okay. Amazon poo hosing duty. Oh! Ugh. Ew! Ah! These are the joys of having a doggy on the boat. <laughs> oh, it's just coming back towards us. Oh, now there's poo on it everywhere. <laughs> so yeah, this is really nice. What is that noise? Are you just Going for it. Paying for your keep. <laughs> it's full of seaweed. It is. Yeah. Ben, it is the intake. It's full of seaweed, the intake. It's full of tunnel and more came. Well, I, I, get a really I was like, why are you coming up after like Here, do you want to take this with you? Oh, wait. Where, like right here? Yeah, right around here. There should be three holes, and it's probably the one most forward. It's, it's a little under, yeah. <laughs> this is hard to breathe. <laughs> In Greg's defense, submerging yourself in water as cold as our water is makes your heart rate increase, causing you to need more oxygen, which makes it harder to hold your breath. But either way, we sent him down three or four times and even gave him a barbecue brush to scrub the intake with. There's a lot more water coming out now than there was last time. Like a lot more. Guys, we fixed it! Yay! Thanks for your help. We did it!
Had it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Look, that's ominous looking, eh? Okay. It's rather ominous looking. Why are we leaving the blue sky <laughs> to go towards the black sky? We're trying to get out of the swell. Sparkling waters. That wave was kind of bullshit, eh, Ellie? A little bit bullshit. Pretty close out like, I went for a couple, and then I caught it and pulled out because I was like, what am I going to do when I catch it? Yeah. <laughs> it was yeah. just, it was super, like, heavy and onshore, and I was like, there's not much of a face. I'm going to get the shit kicked out of me. Yeah. And then I saw Bruce frolicking like a happy little bear, so I went and joined him and Emma. <laughs> I'm not mad, it was nice to get in the water, it was cool to jump off the boat and paddle it away. Yeah, it was fun. It was just fun doing it with Max and Morgan because they're such dedicated surfers and I enjoyed myself, but yeah, the wave was basically just closing out the entire time. Novelty. We still have yet to score good waves off Kiana. And one day we will. But in the meantime, we had to find an anchorage that would protect us from the swell. You might recognize this one. Coffee's in hand. This is starting to be one of my favorite anchorages. There's nobody here ever. The water is perfectly calm. The mountains are incredible and close by and they always have a little bit of fog in front of them. Just to make them look extra epic. It's cool, I love this anchorage. And I think today we have um, some pretty cool plans. I don't know, Greg's hurting, he drank too much. <laughs> um, he's gonna be a grumpy Greg today. I think everyone else is feeling pretty fine so we'll see how it goes good morning nugs but there is nothing like a cold water dip to wake you up <laughs> <I'm off track. laughs> bruce what's up pull the ropey thing and make it go up <laughs> come on going? I put standby on. The Conti Bay at the end of Shelter Inlet. We're going through some sort of sketchy yeah, channel. Yeah, we're going through like a weird little passage behind Obstruction Island. Alright, we're about to sail through this small tight <laughs> passage. You can't tell how small and tight it is yet. Thank you. 
the plan, O'Malley? We are gonna go find a river that <laughs> doesn't exist because I was already over there. So we're gonna go dr fill the dinghy up with 300 pounds of dogs and people and gear, and then we're gonna drag it up a probably low flowing creek. Okay, does anyone wanna know who the most optimistic member of our crew is? We read the book, and the book the says- dream speaker. Or we can at least pull the dinghy up some rapids, and then we can do a dinghy tour. slow cruise through an old growth forest. Which sounds awesome. Which is the, the positive, the best case scenario. But realistic option is that we're gonna drag it through the rocks and mud because <laughs> nothing ever works out. <laughs> Are we all set to go on this adventure that probably won't work out? Oh, I feel like it's gonna work out. Just I, fine. I think it's gonna work out. <laughs> <laughs> your boats for making a boat that is tough enough for our lifestyle. And although it wasn't quite a low flowing creek, it wasn't a river either. But either way, we got up and we got to slow cruise through some beautiful old growth forest. so much you guys and if you are new here then don't forget to hit subscribe and definitely hit that bell